Hi, welcome to Out on the Town with Courtney. This time I've stepped inside the Wellness Loft to talk with Megan Rewers, who's president of the board for Crisis Nursery. Megan, thanks so much for talking with me and telling me a little bit more about what Crisis Nursery is and what is going to be here for Effingham. So I think we're all kind of anticipating what is Crisis Nursery? Yes, and thank you for having me. Um, our mission, Crisis Nursery's mission, is to protect children from and prevent childhood trauma, abuse, and neglect. Um, we have a lot of ways that we want to do that and accomplish that mission and bring it to life. But as we're opening the doors, as we're getting started, um, our main goal is to uh, provide 24-hour emergency shelter to children birth through six. Um, wow. Yeah. And th well, that's a lot of uh, round the clock assistance, yeah. um, which I'm sure that we're kind of all underestimating the need for that. Mm -hmm. And so that brings me to my next question. Why did we need a place like this here in Effingham? That's a great question. Um, I, uh, to put it simply, um, children and families are in crisis nursery crisis nursery's eyes an investment to our community's future and well-being and health and prosperity um, i'm born and raised from effingham and had always dreamed of being able to bring something back to our community because effingham sure. has given me so much over the years um, and helped me grow in so many ways and i was introduced to the mission when i went to school in urbana and just remember thinking and dreaming how wonderful this would be for our area um, and it really is a dream come true to see how far we've come on this project in such a short amount of time. Oh, I think you're exactly right. Mm -hmm. And um, tell me, who can qualify for Crisis Nursery? Anybody. The service is open to anybody. There's no income requirements. There's no uh, residency requirements. We're going, going to target the Effingham County area um, and surrounding counties, immediate surrounding counties. But if somebody lives in California and they're coming through um, and something happens and they need us, we want to be there. Wow, that's a really powerful um, you know, thing to stand on that is welcome to anyone here as outside of the Effingham community, but of course you're going to target the Effingham community like you said. Mm -hmm. So what's a day in, you know, going to look like at Crisis Nursery? Everything's going to, every day is going to look different. Um, we will start taking, we're going to take crisis calls 24 hours a day. That's, that's our main objective, our main milestone in our first year, uh, but we will uh, start taking crisis calls at 7 a.m. each day to schedule for that day. Um, we might see a child come in for a couple of hours. We might see a child come in for eight hours. It just depends on the situation and the reasons why people are calling. Um, and so every day is going to be going to be a new experience for us. Uh, sure. We plan we'll have two staff for each shift and we'll have three shifts around the clock. Um, and then we'll have volunteers, which are going to really be at the heart of our, our organization. Our volunteers are going to allow us um, by serving two and three hour shifts to mm -hmm. provide care to as many children as possible and the most children possible. Sure, which brings me to my next question. How can people volunteer for Crisis Nursery? Um, well, right now, the best way to get in t uh, to get connected with us to volunteer is to get in touch with me. Okay. Um, they can call me um, or email me, um, and and we can give we can provide that information so people can get get connected. Um, we also have a website and a Facebook page, which is a great way for people to get connected. Sure, and I know you guys are still in the fundraising process for it all, and to kind of you know keep it going. So if people want to donate, or if people you know want to uh, give some type of monetary donation how can they go about that again best way to do that right now is to call me um, fish uh, the fish organization in Effingham has created a crisis nursery fund okay um, so if people are interested in donating monetary funds to to our, our organization they can send a check or a money order to fish which is the PO box 473 Effingham um, and just make sure you put crisis nursery in the memo line sure. so that they know where to, to do where to, to direct that check um, but otherwise if you have in-kind donations we're gonna have a needs list posted on our website um, and our Facebook page um, because that's another thing that's so important to us is that right. we want families to have we want to have everything possible to care for children we don't want families to have to pack a diaper bag or sure. put a whole bunch of things together mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna need everything from formula to um, cribs, to cot sheets, to outside play equipment and bubbles and things like Coloring that. Coloring books, so, things like yeah. that, you know, anything goes. Something <laughs> yep. that you'd want for your own child. Absolutely. All right, well, Megan, I know we're all really anticipating the opening for Crisis Nursery, so um, it's this fall, hopefully, correct? Yes, yes, we hope so. Um, we're
we're on pace, we're in the first phase of our program, uh, so we're on pace to open in the fall and we're, we're Again, that's a dream come true. Yeah. We're really excited about that. Very exciting. Well, best of luck to you, Megan, and uh, everybody else who's making this dream come alive. Thank you so much. Make sure to check out the article for more details about Crisis Nursery, and thanks for tuning in to this edition of Out on the Town with Courtney.